Jenna, what are you doing to me? Are we gonna survive? I don't think so. Do we need to pin drop our location so I, people I come find so. us? I think we have to do that. Okay, let's 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 keep going. We can do this. Can we? I think we can. Are you sure? We got it. How much longer? I don't know. It's your hill. <laughs> My hill. I made it. <laughs> Afterwards, Jeanette and I went to her beautiful country of Slovenia, and I got to spend like twelve days with her, and it was amazing. We didn't actually venture too far away from the house because we just puzzled so much together. We had so much fun. But we did go for this lovely walk in Tivoli Park and we climbed this, this hill. It wasn't too bad of a hill. We were just being silly. And it was a lovely day because there had been quite a bit of rain. So we finally got out and about when the weather was nice. And at the top of the hill is this old church, older church, and the color doesn't come across great on the photo, but it's pink. It was so lovely. Now, you know me, I love dogs, and I got to spend so much time with Jeanette's father's dog, Chiara. She loved me. We had the best time together. Oh, she's just a big floof monkey ball. Look at her. Look at those paws. She's an Alaskan Malamute, and I loved her so much. And I quickly became Chiara's new best friend. She absolutely loved me. We had so much fun together. This is at Jeanette's father's house and his partner, Sashi. They're building the house. Jeanette's helping build the house. And Sashi makes the most incredible homemade tiramisu. It was delicious. But on top of that, I got to meet Blush. This is Jeanette's man, her main squeeze. What a lovely guy. So nice. I'm so happy for her. We also watched some friends play paddle tennis. Never heard of this before. I'd heard of obviously tennis and pickleball, but what's paddle tennis? You use a different type of paddle um, and it's enclosed. You use the walls to bounce the ball back and forth. And there's like lots of lobbing. It's quite interesting. It feels like tennis squash combination. So it was really fun to go meet up with them and watch them play. The big event while in Slovenia was that we drove up to Kranja, Kranja? Oh, I'm gonna mispronounce the name of the town, but there there's a store called Park Enigma. Now this is a gaming store. They have card games and board games. They have events and they've started putting on a monthly speed puzzling event. And they alternate between solo, pairs and teams. Jeanette loves going. She tries to go every month and they actually shifted the event um, to coincide for when I was visiting. So we are at the store and we are going to be doing an individual speed puzzling run. They were so lovely and so friendly. They also gifted me my first Dixit jigsaw puzzle. Now I'm familiar with the game, the card game, but I was not familiar with the puzzles until I saw Jeanette speed run them at this store. So they did give me this puzzle and I will be doing a full video on that sometime in the future. So we're getting ready to do the speed puzzling and if you notice my time lapse doesn't start <laughs> right away because I didn't realize we were starting and I was all confused. And so I hadn't started recording and someone was trying to help me with my camera. So I lost a couple of seconds there, a bit of time at the start because I didn't understand that we had actually started to speed puzzle. But look at what puzzle they got for us. It's the boat houses. It's my qualifying puzzle from Worlds. So I'm redoing the puzzle that I just done in Spain. Now, my goal, my hope was that I could perhaps beat my Spain time, which was exactly 58 minutes. But I will admit the start flustered me. <laughs> and and I, I, did not, I did not start well. And I got flustered and I was confused. So I just said, have fun, do the best you can. I really didn't change my tactic though. I'm not sure if I should have or done something differently. Maybe I didn't need to pull out the border pieces while I was fully flipping. Um, I kind of approached it very similarly, but I will admit I remembered a lot about the image because I had just done it like a week earlier. Now, at this event, Carolina 
from the Ukraine, who's currently living in Austri Austria, was there. And she was also in Group A, my qualifying group for Worlds. So her Worlds time was an hour, two minutes, and like 33 seconds. And I'm just going to tell you right here, right now, she beat her time by like 10 minutes. She did so well. I was so pleased for her. I also noticed that these tables were a little shorter, so I was really hunched over. My back was sore. I should have sat down. I don't know why I don't sit down. I need to try to sit down more. I did find, for some reason, I felt I was slower in the sky this time. I felt I was faster on the buildings and the boats, but slower in the sky. I have no idea. It was just me. But the store was lovely, very nice. We had 15 people compete. Jeanette, she had not done the puzzle before. She hadn't even tried mine yet. So this was her first time doing the puzzle. And let me tell you, I believe Jeanette had a personal best time. She kicked butt. It is a lovely, fun puzzle. It was lots of fun to do. My table mate was very lovely. I'm glad to see stores, local stores, putting on such events and getting such good puzzles. This is a fun, good puzzle to speed run. So do you think I beat my world's time of 58 minutes. There's Jeanette being the supportive girlfriend Blage with speed puzzling. I think it's his first time speed puzzling on his own and he did so very well. We were given two hours to complete the puzzle. I asked him to take a photo, a group photo, <laughs> and this is the photo I got instead. And uh, then I asked Jeanette to take a group photo and she was not happy that she wasn't gonna be in the group photo. So I got this photo instead. <laughs> So finally, Carolina's like, give me the phone. And Carolina did a nice group photo with all of us together. Except for Blage B-Man, he's not in the photo. Now, look at these hands. The reason why her hands are turned up, all the blue puzzle dust. Insane. Well, let's just look at the results. Jeanette, she knocked it out of the park. 45 minutes and 55 seconds. I honestly do think she said this was a personal best time for her on a 500 piece puzzle. That's amazing. And then Carolina went from an hour, two minutes to 52 minutes. That's 10 minutes. That's a significant improvement. That's insane. Insane. Then in third place, Yana, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't think it's pronounced Jana. I think it's Yana, 57 minutes. And I did come in fourth, but I was a bit slower than Worlds, 55 seconds slower. That's okay. And then I believe fifth place, their name is pronounced, I think the J is pronounced like an I. So is it Ada? I'm so sorry. Just past the hour mark at an hour, one minute and 10 seconds. The store was so lovely. They awarded prizes to the top five um, placements. However, the fifth place person, Ada, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, wasn't able to stay. So only four of us are appearing in this photo. Oh, we had so much fun. Afterwards, we all, a bunch of us went for dinner. And of course we had to knock out a puzzle, plop it on the table. And there were nine of us, including um, Yana's two children, um, puzzling with us. It was so great. They loved it. We all had a great time. We all signed puzzle pieces. It was so much fun. And then I did get to spend more time with Jeanette in Ljubljana, the capital city of Slovenia with her, just roaming around, seeing the sights. I miss her already. We had so much fun together. It was such a great trip. Everything with, you know, driving through Germany and France, meeting Jeanette's French family. Well, technically they're Slovenian and they moved to France at a young age and then going to Spain with her, Siobhan and Stein, and then coming back to Ljubljana, Slovenia with her. It was just, it was a trip of a lifetime. I miss her every day. We had so much fun together. She's like, what's the expression? Sister from another mister. <laughs> She's my spirit animal and I love her to bits. I'm so proud how well she did on this puzzle and Carolina for taking off 10 minutes, that's insane. Yeah, I did not do my best, but that's okay. I still had loads of fun and I absolutely love this trip to Slovenia. It was just the best. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to me and it does help the channel grow. And try out a local speed puzzling competition to start. Who knows, you might really enjoy it. Just to get the puzzles even, the experience, 
perhaps move up to a national competition, and I hope to see you someday at Worlds. We had the best time together. So much fun. I really enjoy doing it. I'm not the fastest, but I definitely have the most fun. And until next time, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep holding me? Because you're cute. <laughs> so cute. You're so cute. How are you feeling? <sighs> oh, I'm so hot. Hotter than your usual hot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> A lot hotter than that. <laughs>